Today I'm coming at you from my kitchen and I will be cooking an easy, fast, keto friendly, no carb dinner. One of my fast favorite meals to have. So make sure to like and subscribe and come along with me. Because we're getting ready for dinner. Dinner time is a time where you want to eat very lightly, spiritually and for your physical desires to help the body burn fat to stay healthy fit lean and strong because well carbohydrates are good for usually the early earlier a.m earlier p.m but not once the evening sets because our body does not need that it's not going to burn off the energy and it'll store as unfortunately fat so depending on what your physical fitness goals are that's my little lifestyle help tip <laughs> guys so we got our chopped up fresh ingredients going into the pan of coconut oil cast iron pan so the benefits of onion purple onion to be more descriptive is the spiritual connection that it has as well as the nutritional facts spiritually it's going to connect us to our crown chakra which is our seventh chakra that lives above the head of the crown giving our connection and our spiritual umbilical cord to the higher dimensions and more of the astral and cosmic realms where supreme consciousness lays in the divine supreme consciousness. Mushrooms are really good to ground us. They're very earth tasting. So they ground us and root us down into our physical life, helping us to have clarity as well as the micronutrients from mushrooms. They're a fungi that help against bad toxins in the body so they aid in detoxing and they're very good meat substitute for vegans or vegetarians so right here if you just wanted to keep this vegan or vegetarian this would be the meat substitute we're going to put it into our pan seared pan with coconut oil and let this all sear together for about five minutes In a separate pan, I will be pan searing the ground turkey with coconut oil and Italian seasoning. Ground turkey is great because it's not considered a red meat, so it, it's fast digesting lean protein, which is gonna support your lean muscle to burn fat and easy to digest. Coconut oil, we're gonna put that in Turkey going into the pan. Italian seasoning. to make it slightly sweet. Stevia is a natural sweetener that's diabetic friendly, that won't spike your insulin, and it adds sweetness to things. You can cook with it, you can bake with it, you can put it in your tea. I use it every day for everything sweet. So I just got the spaghetti squash out of the oven. I did puncture a few holes in it. It's been in there for about three hours. 
I'm going to safely remove the foil that I wrapped it in to help it cook a little faster. I usually put these in my crock pot, but I got a smaller crock pot recently, and this bad boy did not fit in there, so I had to put it in the oven, which is nice to have both of those options to cook your spaghetti squash. I did rinse the spaghetti squash as well before I even cooked it, making sure to get any dust, debris, dirt, anything like that off the squash. So we'll be cutting into the squash right through the center. So now you see all the seeds are removed from the spaghetti squash and this is all free to eat inside and this is why it's called spaghetti squash because when you pull the inside it naturally forms a noodle like consistency texture of squash spaghetti squash hi nolly mama wants spaghetti squash nolly the cuter won't spaghetti squash tonight too okay <laughs> Nolly is my new French Bulldog, and she is doing great. She just had surgery. Show them, Nola. Show them your scars. Show them your battle wounds. She broke her leg, guys, at King Supers a week ago. Her link will be down below. She's still raising money for GoFundMe because it was super expensive surgery that she had to see a specialist for, but she's doing great. Here is our spaghetti squash, and we are going to top it off with our toppings. Now we got our ground turkey. And there it is guys. Easy peasy, yummy dinner. So we got our spaghetti squash, our vegetables, our lean ground turkey, and our spaghetti sauce. So good. This is a pretty large portion, but again, it's no carb, so you could really have any kind of vegetable and fruit in abundance and it not have any guilt or any negative bad side effects come. It's kind to the waistline, as I would say. This is my honeys, but I'm gonna make sure that it's not poisonous by taking a bite and trying to bite, really making sure that I don't need any more pepper or salt. Before I do, can I pray over it? Have my heart full of gratitude, blessings, sending love and light out to the world and back to me. Super good guys. I know he likes a little bit more pepper and just a little bit more salt. So comment down below if you end up trying this recipe and how much you guys like it. Thanks so much for watching. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.